Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm still in quarantine, still bored, so nothing changed from last week till now. And most of you guys are probably in quarantine too. And I had this idea of doing a do-it-yourself video. I've been wanting to do one for a long time, but the truth is my sewing machine was broken. And I got a new one and it took a little bit to arrive, but it's here and it's pink and it's so perfect. Something that you guys probably don't know about me or some of you might know, the ones that have been here for the longest time. So I have a college degree in fashion design. I'm very comfortable with like molding and sewing and all that stuff. But the do-it-yourself that I want to do on this channel are going to be very easy So I'm not going to do very complicated stuff because I really want you guys to be able to do this at home And also guys, for the ones I don't know, I have a clothing brand called Rip Apparel Which actually this hoodie is from my brand So the few remaining stock that I have from Rip Apparel, everything is at 50% off So if you don't know my brand and want to check it out Rip Apparel, I'm going to add it to the description and you can shop these hoodies and I'm still shipping in this situation so you can still order if you want Okay, back to the video again Today I'm like talking and talking So I was really looking for a neat little cute set like a sweater and some shorts and I couldn't find anyone that I liked on stores and they are probably going to take so long to arrive and I really wanted it so I thought about this idea of taking a real long knit jumper and just transform it in a little set so that's what we are going to do today and it's going to be super super easy so before we start I'm going to show you everything that you need for this do-it-yourself and I promise you it's very easy, let's go! So first thing you'll need is your sweater or jumper so I'm going to use this one, it has a turtleneck but it doesn't really need to have a turtleneck you can use whatever jumper you like and what's really important here is for it to be oversized and long so you can have the most amount of fabric as possible the second thing you'll need are some jersey shorts and ones that you really like how they fit we are just going to use it for the shape we are also going to need a pair of scissors some pins, sewing pins or safety pins, elastic for the waist, a thread in the color of your sweater and a sewing machine or a needle if you are going to sew by hand. So first thing we are going to do is to cut the top part and we are going to cut it as high as we can because we need the most amount of fabric for the shorts as we can get. So the lowest we can cut is here just below the sleeve and that's exactly what I'm going to do now, just cut it. Okay, so now we have two pieces, the top part and the bottom. We don't really need the top now, so I'm going to put this away. And now let's start building our shorts. So this part here, that was the front of the sweater, is going to be the front of the shorts. And this part is going to be the back. And we are actually going to still utilize here this part that is already sewed for the side of our shorts so you don't need to sew again this part we are going to make it as easy as we can now I'm gonna take the pair of shorts that I have and I'm going to use the front of the shorts and fold the back like this so you can clearly see the shape of this arch right here that all shorts have and I'm going to lay the bottom part with the bottom of the sweater and as you can see it really fits the size of the sweater but we need some extra fabric to fold it and put the elastic band so when this happens all you need to do is just to keep sliding them until you have a little space to fold and they are definitely going to be a little bit shorter than these ones but I don't really mind okay this is enough for me to fold so I'm happy with this also something that you might want to do is just fold it like this and see if you have enough space to do another part because this is only the left side you still need to make the right side so if this part of the shorts passes the middle of the sweater it means that you need a bigger sweater now that we have this here I'm just going to pin them together so it doesn't move and we are going 
going to start cutting here on this part and you need to be very careful here because since we are already using this sewing part right here and we don't want to really cut that that means that both of the parts are still together and you have two layers of fabric and you don't want to cut the bottom layer you just want to cut the top part so make sure you're not cutting them together and just the top part and you're going to cut a little bit like one centimeter away from the short so you can have a little sewing edge and here you can go all the way to the top and that's it now you want to remove the pins and we have our first part of the shorts right here so we can definitely open this up now now what you want to do is to bring the other front here, align the sewings and align here the bottom part and then very carefully you want to turn them around and here you can see the shape so you can cut exactly the same to the other front. So we have both our legs for the front and we have the back part here already folded in half and ready to cut because you cannot use the front part to cut the back part because they are a little bit different. Take your shorts again but now you want to fold here the front so you can have the back shape here. You have this little arch too but there's a little bit more inside so you really gently need to hold here and pull so you can have the full length of the arch. Oh, okay, as you can see, I don't have many room for the back left, so I will need to do a straight cut here. Now pin them together again. And here, since I don't have room to cut, I will just split them in half right here, really carefully. And then we are going to start by cutting the arch here. And don't forget the one centimeter rule. And now we have two shapes here. My sweater was shorter on the front than on the back and I think it's going to look cute on the short, so I'm going to leave it like that. And this is like front part, back part, front part, back part. Now the sewing that we left is going to be our guide for the front and the back of the fabric. So what we are going to do is have like the outer part here facing the top here and on the other part you want the exactly opposite. So the inner part, the ugly part facing top. And the first parts that we are going to sew are the arches. So we are going to sew the arches together and we are going to pin them so we can take this to the sewing machine or if you want to sew by hand, go for it. It's going to take a little longer but it's definitely possible. Okay, so all the cutting is done and now we are going to start the sew, which is the most exciting part, at least for me. I really like sewing. Okay, first arch is sewed, now I'm going to sew the arch on the back. So after you sewed both of the arches, what you're left with is basically this shape right here. And now on these parts that we have the original sewing from the sweater, we are going to pull them like this and the shape slightly changes to some shorts. And now here in the middle of where the legs are going to be, we are going to connect both edges of the arch right here. Since the back part of my sweater is longer than the front, they are not going to be the same size, but in your sweater they are probably going to be. And now we are going to sew this together like this. And this is going to be the inner part of the legs. Now we clearly have the shape of a shorts, which it's good. And now we are going to move on to the elastic part and I'm going to use this elastic band right here. And what you want to do is to measure your waist with this to define how tight you want this to be. I don't like my shorts to be really tight or any of my clothes to be really tight on the waist because then like the skin is going to pop off and it's not going to look good. So I prefer them to be a little bit more loose. 
and I think this measurement is fine for me so once you have that you can leave one centimeter for the sewing and then cut right away now still with your shorts reversed we are going to fold here and fold once again to create like a clean edge here and then make sure like the fold has the size of your waistband and we are going to start to pin it like this So we have our waistband all marked down and now let's bring this to the sewing machine. Before you reach the part where you started, you're going to leave a little gap just to get the elastic band inside and then we are going to come back to close this. So this is enough for now. Now to get the elastic band inside, I like to use this trick with a safety pin. So you basically just put a safety pin here in the edge of the elastic band with this little gap that you left without sewing you're going to just put the elastic band and we're finally done you can see here the safety pin coming out so just pull it gently and now you can remove the safety pin and what we are going to do is just to sew this okay so the elastic is ready and now we are going to just put it inside and now that's inside we are going to fold this part right here and finish sewing the edge here to connect both parts that were already sewed okay guys so we finished our shorts they are looking good now I just hope that they fit good as well so I'm going to try them on let's see how they look So that's it guys, here we have the complete set, I'm actually obsessed with this, it turned out just like I thought it would, so I'm really happy, it's very lounge, very comfortable, and I would love to see you guys recreate this and show me how your sets look like. If you do that, please send it to me, tag me, whatever you want, because I really want to see them. Now, I'm ready to take some pictures with this outfit and I'm going to end the video now, so thank you so, so much for watching. If you like do-it-yourself videos and want to see more, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys like this type of videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my content and I see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.